Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 22nd episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled The Trouble with Shellshock. We begin this episode at a basketball court where Tommy, Zach, and Jason are all playing basketball while Billy, Kimberly, and Trini are cheering them on. I wish there were more to talk about with this, but that's seriously it, you know, they're just doing those things. On the moon, Babu and Squat sneak around while Rita is asleep in a rocking chair and they discuss how they have a monster that they've made out of clay that they're going to create to impress Rita. They decide on the name Shellshock for him before sending him into Finster's monster making machine, the Monstermatic, with a baseball bat, a baseball, and they share up to shove a miniature traffic light into his back. They create the monster, and yep, it's a turtle monster. The rangers, still playing basketball, are attacked suddenly by putties. In a totally forgettable putty fight, Zack, honest to god, does a slam dunk before the putties all disappear. Seriously, what is going on with this episode? Gwat and Babu are mad that their putties sucked, but apparently they were just intended to soften up the rangers anyways, so I don't get it. Tommy says he's gotta go, but he'll be back when the Japanese footage calls for it. The five rangers decide that they want hot dogs to eat. Bulk and Skull show up to be assholes to the teens, and when Bulk sexually harasses Kimberly, Jason and Zack step in. And then Kim throws Skull towards Bulk, and long story short, they end up in hot dog condiments while Trini and Billy just stand there waiting for the five hot dogs that they ordered riveting stuff. The hot dog cart owner and Bulk and Skull walk away when the hot dog cart owner tells Bulk and Skull that it's going to take two weeks worth of work to pay off what they destroyed and he's hitting them both on the ass with spatulas? There's a lot of questions here. Doesn't matter, Babu, Squat, and Shellshock are nearby peeping at the rangers from a bush and Shellshock fires a laser at the basketball causing it to explode on the ground. The rangers quickly morph to defend themselves but it doesn't matter because Shellshock uses his green light beam to hit Trini who just runs away. The other rangers kind of shrug it off while Trini is yelling for help, and they fight Shellshock who wipes the floor with them by hitting baseballs at them. When he reaches into his shell and retrieves a baseball bat and balls to hit, he then uses his red light beam to freeze black, blue, and pink, and to top it all off, he swaps his head out for a cannon that he then fires at red. Rough dead to be a Power Ranger. Jason fends off Babu and Squad and Shellshock by using his Blade Blaster, which makes them run away for some reason. Back on the moon, Goldar chastises Babu and Squad for sucking at life, but then Rita wakes up and congratulates them on their win in the battlefield. This episode feels like a whole episode of B plot with no A plot, it's cause it is. In the command center, Zack, Kim, and Billy all remain frozen while Zordon tells Jason that he sent Trini to the Mountain of Hope to retrieve some flowers that will somehow break shell shock spells or something. It's almost like this episode wants it to be about Trini, but like no one else does. Anyway, shell shock is now giant and attacking the city and he makes the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles joke, which caught me off guard. Jason calls on the T-Rex Zord to hold off shell shock until Trini gets those dumb ass flowers. Speaking of Trini, she's running up the mountain and Zordon informs her that the power of the saber tooth tiger will help guide her. And this weird ass ghost image of a Zord floats in front of her. Somehow this helps her get the flowers, whatever. Back to the city battle, Jason is losing the shell shock, so of course it's time to call on Tommy, who has just finished karate practice. He morphs in and it's time to call out the Dragon Zord. The two do well against shell shock, but then, like, he fakes being hurt, and then the Zords back off for some reason before Shellshock fires a laser at them. In a show where they almost exclusively murder the monsters, I don't see an issue, but okay. Trini shows up and for some reason she yells for Jason and Billy to hold on. Whatever, I'm so done with this episode. She jumps on the Shellshock's head and spreads the flower pollen, which lets the other rangers become free as well as herself. The rangers all come together and bring out their Zords and together they obliterate Shellshock. Bye. Rita is mad about Babu and Squat sucking, and before you know it, we're back to the basketball court where they totally didn't just film right after they filmed the other shots. Tommy and Zack evidently had a bet about how the winner buys lunch. Zack wins, and then Billy steps in to show up Zack, which means Zack now owes Billy and Tommy lunch. It's stupid. The end. This episode was rough to get through. Not gonna lie, I usually love episodes no matter what, but this one was just odd. What did any of this have to do with Trini? Why didn't they just turn this episode into a Trini focused episode? It felt like such a generic episode where so much weird stuff was happening, yet nothing was happening all at once. And it's really strange. I would have much rather preferred an episode that showed Tommy acclimating to the team than everyone just pretending that he didn't try to murder them with the sword last time. So it's really, really strange. Hopefully next time will be better, but until then, may the power protect you.